Hey folks, welcome back. We are on round number 149. Uh, let's have a look at the VidCon. Okay, we gained 475 political bonus. Uh, we're about a quarter of the way into this, or a fifth of the way in. Uh, we lost friendship. Uh, that's not good. Not good. Uh, we discovered a new tech, Atomic Missile, and we've developed Grunt 6, and we've completed Mining Robotization, and we've discovered Mechanized MG Infantry Army. Okay. Okay, we're not getting anything out of the um, the machinery. Yeah, sorry, the artifacts site yet. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some more of those. So uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the uh, the model that we made of Grunt Six. I wish these obs. I wish you could just delete these, like and just get rid of them. There's, I mean, I know you can hide obsolete, but the problem is it then starts kind of changes everything around here, which I don't like. I don't know why it does that. Um, it means I have to search for everything rather than... So yeah, I like the infantry being at the top. But uh, anyway. So let's have a look at this. Base design's good. Yeah, this is a good model. This is a lot better model. Okay. Look at the, look at the difference between this and the rifleman. Twice as many hit points. And twice as many soft attack. Now, tech's pretty much the same look. A little bit more armor piercing. That reminds me, we need to ch go to the um, the Applied Science Council and we'll change armor piercing optimization now. They've been doing that for too long. Let's switch into... Uh, vehicle armor would be useful. Fuel mix... I forget which fuel mix. Is that just a production? Yeah, that's a production of fuel. Up, uh, fuel. Well, we've got plenty of fuel at the moment. Energy storage optimization. No. Uh, payload. Make this tech makes rockets and missiles more lethal. Now, does is that just rocket and missile launchers, or does that include aircraft? You know, rockets. Uh, we've also got vehicle armor optimization. We should put a few. We should put something into that. Um, we're not really using vehicles at the moment, but we probably should do at some point. Okay, Star River wants total power over a state. Uh, this is going to annoy people. Okay, we lose a bit of autocracy and mind. Uh, which one was friendship, by the way? I think friendship is heart, if I remember right. Yeah, we've lost heart. Uh, that's not good. So we we, we lost the uh, character lo loyalty bonus there. Kind of a shame. Um, motion that our civilization level reaches 7.84. We can do that, I think. Model design, ca uh, council task priorities. Yeah, model design, we, we, we've got loads of points coming up. We could probably defund it a little bit. Let's just leave that as it is. Economic council task priority. Uh, hydroponics robotization is probably the best one we've got here. I don't really need, I'm not even using rail at the moment. Should we get a jetpack infantry up? Why not? Maritime trading house offering to buy Cortez population. No. Um, industrial points. 800 in quarters. Yep, we can do that. So, no problem. Oh, now Mart Cove to a big town. Uh, I don't know yet. Cavassia Great Lake transport contract with Harris Sea Maritime Trading House. So this is, um, we wanted to, wanted to do it between Altona, didn't we? It was a port unload. Yeah, Altona. I think. Yeah, that was it. It was called Alterna because we wanted to get more. Because look, we're, we're every turn we're using this 500. So yeah, that was it. So port and load in Altona, and we're going to go from Port Real, of course. Ah, now we actually have more logistical points. Look, interesting. So they've got more capacity, clearly. Um. We need more money, don't we? We need more money. Let's see if we can get some money somehow. Now, we've got some political points available. Montes is blackmailing us. No, I'm not. Yes, sir. Screw you. Uh, I'm never, ever going to pay that. At least at least in this game. Yeah, let's have a look at some stratagems. See if we can make some cash. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Where are we? 
bum, bum. Okay. Zones. Patriotic collection and emergency tax. That's quite expensive. Uh, we could we could play this one in Cortez. They've got a really big population. Yes, sir. Failure. All right, we only got a thousand credits. That sucks. Um, all right, so let's just go back to this. Can we sell anything? I wonder. We've got loads and loads of fuel here. We don't. Need, we're not using. Let's see what we can trade away. Um, not really a lot, is there? That's in Maxia. Let's see what we can sell here in this trading house. Okay, they don't want to buy fuel either. Uh, they can buy... Actually, metal's quite good here. They don't really have any... They don't really have that much in the way of credits. We can also sell food. Uh, rare earth metals we can sell not really worth a whole lot are they okay we've got six thousand there let's try this shq here um they'll take fuel although we don't have a lot of fuel here although the fuel price is good that's kind of worth it yeah that's kind of worth it um we can always transfer some from the one of the other shqs uh food no, we're not going to sell that food for that price. Uh, we can sell quite a lot of rare metals, but we don't want to sell that many. We sell a thousand worth. And that's it. I don't want to sell anything else. So, okay, we've got, we got nearly 10,000. That's a little bit better. So, port unloading Altona. Let's see what we can get here. And this is going from Port Real. Okay. Uh, 5,000 credits, we could get 2,500. We don't need that many. Look at this, we got 32,000 logistical points. Wow, so these guys are giving us a lot of their points. Uh, we could get 2,500 for 16 rounds. 8,000, wow. Um, or we could just go with 500, another 500 for 42. that will probably do it. Let's just get a long-term contract. Uh, so next turn we should have 1,000, yeah, we, we got 1,000 going out there, that's better. Okay. That cost us some money, that did, but, you know, sometimes you got to pay to, to to get the thing that you want. Okay, nuclear plant 3 is going up. Two, Sorry, nuclear plant 2 is going up. Um, I, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm starting to watch the clock. I feel like we're on the clock with this game now a little bit because we have taken a long, long time to get things going. Let's see if we can get this air bridge going, by the way. Go to air bridge mode. And we're going to grab that, the fifth transport wing. Okay, it's still not working. Um, even though we have got... Hold on a minute, let's just... Might just be not doing this quite right. Hello? Right click. Okay, let's just go back to inspect. Just seeing if that... Uh, it looks like it's kind of highlighted but it's not uh what is the problem here with this then we are at 95 percent readiness i guess we need 100 percent readiness for this to work build okay and we i think this was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we need the measurement tool don't we 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 20 23 why can't we make that of that i don't know it's a mystery it's one of those shadow empire mysteries can we get it up to the other one it might be that the oh it might be because the base is not working this turn uh it might might take until next turn to get in let's try this one then here Let's go to the air bridge mode. Select. Oops. No, come back. Okay, there we are. Does that work? I don't know. I don't think so. This is the currently selected unit. And then we, I think we just click right click. Does that work? I don't think so.
Okay, um, I'm not sure what's going on there. We might need to wait a little bit longer just for more for more readiness. Uh, it's, I haven't done a whole lot of rare bridges, to be honest, and I think we might be pushing the range a little bit too far. That's possibly what's going on. We might need to get an air ba uh, a bigger size airbase up in... Well, we need to get an airbase up in Cortez. It's a standard one. Uh, we don't have a single one there. Uh, we might have to make a bit of a ferry jump between there and there. This one we might not be able to do. Uh, we're starting to leave some territory, by the way, here. Let's, I think it would just be these crabs pushing us back. So let's just kind of start pushing these guys back as well. Okay. No, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll start working pushing these crabs back. Uh, so we can get reclaim our land. Uh, that's probably about it for this turn. Yeah, um, I think... I think what I'm going to have to do is have a bit of a think about where to go next because I, I feel that we are kind of on the clock a little bit. Around 149, the game's usually kind of over by this point. Uh, and it's been quite a, you know, very long, slow build up. Uh, so, yeah, we, and we don't have a whole, and we haven't really got a very big army at the moment, to be honest. Probably got enough for what we need at the moment. But if we're going to go and, you know, attack somebody else, uh, let's, let's see what we can find around in Solar, uh, Solarian State here. So, this is going to be Heimdall Brine 9. We just need to get an information exchange contract up here. Or maybe, uh, yeah, we can't do that one. It's the information contract we want. So, let's get that one up here. And then we'll just get some um, recon points on these on the on the on the shores here, and then we can get some spies in, and then just kind of see what's going on. Uh, we can also we got a recon squadron here. Look, we can actually get these guys doing recon. All right. Birds are in the sky. Okay, so we were able to see you know a few hexes around where we recon there. We could probably just do this every turn uh, for a little while. Maybe get some more of these guys up. Okay, I'm going to end the turn there, folks. Round 150, which is, in my experience, usually when the game's sort of ending. <laughs> okay. Nothing uh, very notable here. A lot of cards generated. Um, way more than normal. Uh, increased civilization level. Oh, okay. Let's just have a look at that demand. 12 rounds left. Oh, we're nearly there, look, so um, I think we're probably going to get that once we build the hospital, wherever it is we're building it. Yeah, so three turns, probably. Port Royale's um, population problems seem to be kind of over. Uh, okay. Yeah, this this turn I think we do need to kind of fi figure out where we're going militarily, because we, we need to start increasing this victory score, otherwise the game's just going to go on forever and ever. Uh, we have got... Yeah, I mean, look, we need 50, a victory score of 50, uh, while your closest competitor has 25 less. I mean, look, Montes is not actually that far ahead of anyone else, really. They've got a lot of territory, but uh, populace-wise, they're actually less than L Lorinisso. Lorin Lorinzesso. Uh, Lorinzesso here is uh, the third. Lilith Republic are in fourth now. They're the, they were ones that we were considering uh, like attacking as well. That's Montus. That's Lilith Republic. I wonder if we can get in some spies there. Yes, sir. Okay, success. So we got we got spying in there. Let's see what we can see in this zone. Uh, this is Torona. Uh, then we we're going to try and get one. Uh, this one here is Montgomery League. Uh, okay. It's Heimdall Brine Seven. That's nine. I thought it was. I thought it was nine that we got that contract up with. Okay. Oh no, we've we've not even we've not even done it yet, have we? Uh, Elisario is imp uh, wanting to improve relations. It's kind of expensive. Might just have to do this just because of how expensive it is. I mean, sorry, just because of how expensive it's going to be to our morale if I don't set salaries for your leaders. Yeah, let's just leave that as it is. Uh, staff council task priorities. Yeah, I'm not bothered about staff council. Um, maritime trading house offering to buy Port Royal population. No. Aye, aye, sir. Um, heresy offering us for industrial points. I didn't even look which one that was, by the way. I, I was so angry at their demand that I didn't even check. Let's let's just see who it was. Was it Heimdall Brine? No, it must have been Heresy. Maybe it was Heimdall Brine. Uh, Maritime Trading Host proposes alliance, maybe next turn or so. Um, Hunter Brian Exploration Contract, right. 
This is Heim to Brian 9, yeah, so it is this one here. It's this, it's this sea here that we want to explore, because I want to see what's on this coast. Uh, so let's just pay, get 16 rounds of that. And uh, Heresy, you're offering to buy industrial points in Mart's Cove. Yeah, we got loads of, we got loads of, oh, yeah, we got plenty of industrial points here, I think. So we can do that. Start to build our commerce back up uh, after we, we went really quite high into enforcement. Yeah, we'll, um, we didn't get strong arming. Why we've not got logical thought yet? We've we've been on the edge of getting that one for a long, long time. We've just been getting some bad dice rolls, I guess. Yeah, so um, we've got to kind of figure out what's going on here. A Montes and Lilith Republic fighting, I wonder. We don't know. Lilith Republic, we don't know either. Uh, maybe we reach out to them and talk to them. Get which is the first card you play with them. Open contact, that was it. Yes, sir. Okay. And um, we'll do that with Mont uh, I think have we got one with Montes already? No. Yes, sir. So let's start talking to Montes as well. Just see what we can we see what we can see. Um just get a little bit of recon and find out what's going on in those areas. Uh we can actually get some spies into Montes here too. That's Huntsland. That's, Ellis that's Beatport of Elisaria. Yeah, let's, let's get it into... Yes, sir. Okay, there we are. All right, we've used a lot of our political points. I want to save a few for the next turn. Uh, everything else is ticking over kind of nicely, I think. Yeah, three turns to the hospital. 4.1 until we got that nuclear plant up. Oh, we've run out of metals. Okay, in that case, let's trade some metals back. Uh, sorry, that's the one, wrong one. Transport. Yeah, send my, uh, send a whole bunch of metals back there. They're going to need those as they're building up the, uh, the infrastructure we need in order to get the high-tech factories going up. Yeah, so um, lots and lots of industrial development has been required in this game, hasn't it? Have we got an industrial asset up here? A commercial asset? No. Commercial project. Roger that. Okay. Uh, can we get the Z project? No, we can't afford it. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to roll the turn, folks. Okay. We're on round 151. Okay, we've got a contract expiring. All drills, uh, that drilling facility, that'll be the one in Altona, I think, um, or in Mar uh, Martport. Um, and we're still entering this time of relative calm. Civilization level is at 794. Uh, it's higher than we needed it to be. That's great, okay. Uh, we researched Walker Hydraulics, and we've re uh, developed a model called Skymen. <laughs> and we discovered a model type Walker. And we've discovered motorized RPG infantry army. Right now, we can start thinking about the staff council and you know messing around with some of these stuff that you can do there. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the overview for the turn. Uh, we're losing four hundred credits a turn. It's quite heavy. Um, I also want to look at the organizations. Just check out what the Air, Air Force is working on. Okay, they're working on helicopter design. Let's just change that one. We've gone far enough down that one now. I think we can probably go into jet engines, I think, finally. Copy that. It's about time to do that, I think. Um, let's start a, walk, a walker model. And we're just going to get the best one we can get. Uh, for the time being, I don't know what kind of armor we're going to need on them. Uh, let's go with a lighter one just to start off with. Mind you, the only thing that we're going to be... Th this is going to be a little bit of extra, you know, metal and industrial points at the expense of fuel. Um, I think what we'll do instead, we'll just go... We'll go all in on a big heavy boy. Uh, so... 
We might as well even go on the uh, go into the bigger one. 150 polymer mill, uh, po mill polymer double diesel. Okay, there we are. So we're just going uh, the biggest one that we can get for that weight size. We might not need that. We can always make another one, you know, like a smaller one. Okay, what next? Laser rifles, automated turrets, extreme vehicles, battle dress. These are all pretty good. Uh, maybe we go with laser rifles. Um, now we're starting to get our machines up. That's possible. We can probably go into that. Minor worker striking Cortez. Autocracy is pretty low at the moment, isn't it? Democracy is kind of high. It doesn't really matter which one which one of these we do. I think... Yeah, we've got quite a lot of troops here too. Use the autocracy. That will stop that from happening for a bit. A maritime trading house offering to buy industrial points in Markov. Uh, uh, 606. I think we've got enough that we can do that. Uh, this is Dionysus Great Lake. Okay. That's some good money we made there as well. Um, traders from Heimdall Brian are offering to buy industrial points in Red Bar. Yes. Well, we've actually got too many industrial points here, look. Understood. I didn't realise you could actually get too many industrial points. Uh, is there any way of stockpiling them? Uh, no. I don't think there is, is there? No, I, I guess in this case you probably just want to start... Oh no, I'm being stupid. No, no, I am looking at it. It's only 5,500. So we're actually losing... Um, we're actually losing quite a lot here. Look, 1,000 per turn. Um, we should probably make some... Oh no, let's not make ammo. Now the reason being is, one, we don't need it. Two, uh, two we haven't actually got that much metal. Uh, let's get some metals back from, from uh, Maxia again. Okay. So it said 1,000 metal over there, or 1,500. Uh, so, yeah, just about 1,000. How long until we've got this hospital? Wow, the hospital and the nuclear plant still taking their time. Then we've got to get the high tech. <laughs> wow, it's really, really, uh, really interesting. The, uh, the, the, you know, the industrial challenges that we've got here. Now, Airbase 4. Let's see if we can finally get this this air bridge going. That's the tactical bomber wing. There we are. Okay, right, they're at 100 readiness now. Now can we do the air bridge? Can we? It looks like it. Okay, that's how you do it. So you click on the you click on the aircraft, then you I think you right you right click there. Unless I'm doing this completely wrong. Bear with me, folks. I'm just going to double check this because I think I might be doing this wrong. Okay, folks, look, I managed to get it working. I, I managed to get one to here. So we've got one between uh, Port Royal and Altona. Now, let me just double check this. You'll see that actually once you've got it working, you check the tra uh, you look at the transport unit. It actually says A, which means it's actually uh, doing an air bridge. So if now you'll see that we're actually getting how many we're getting we're gonna get next turn. It's still saying oh yeah, it's saying six thousand, look. Let's just tr t turn that off a sec. And instead, we're still in the air bridge mode. Let's let's click on this one here. Did that work? I don't know. Yeah, the uh the, the there needs to be some work done on the UI here. I'm not quite sure how or what? Uh, now that's set to airbridge. There we go. Let's just have a look at the unit admin. Yeah, it's not saying it's doing anything here. So uh, now there is. I forget where the airbridge. We've got the airbridge mode here. That's just for selecting own assets we'll look at it next turn anyway we've set it up we've either set it up on i'm pretty sure it's going to yeah i'm pretty sure it's going to this one because this is the one that it, it gave it does give you some feedback when you do it it's kind of it kind of like it 
uh, you know, it, you are selecting the unit and then it unselects the unit when you successfully do it. So I think we've, I think we've done that basically. Yeah, I think I do feel that Shadow Empire just need a little bit of work in the, um, in the user interface in certain areas. Anyway, anyway, let's just have a look at how that works. We can always change the average later. Um, it might be worth getting another one of those uh, transport wings up. Uh, we could actually, we could actually try it from here. Look, so if we could, we've got, have we got the airbase? Oh no, we don't have the airbase four here. That's why. Okay, so it's not just the UI. It's just me. It's just you, as usual. Ben being silly um, and not not understanding things. Let's get the air uh, the airbase level two up here. It would be really cool if we could cut the maritime trading houses out entirely eventually, and we just use the uh, we just use the air bridges. Uh, these bikes can't attack from here for some reason. Yeah, there. That's because they were stuck on that road. They can't get down those mountains, that's what it is. Okay, push the multi-crabs out into the sea there. Let's get some air recon on them. We'll see if we can kill those in the sea. Okay. And then we go to air attack, which is X. Okay, oh, we probably need to click on, yeah, one of our fighters. Okay, air attack. How many recon points? We've got 239. Okay. Doesn't look like we managed to kill anything. Alright. Have we got any others? I think that's the only bombers that we've got, isn't it? The rest are recon, I think, yeah. We've got a bunch of recon squadron. Okay, so we've got the airbridge set up anyway. That is interesting. Now, we, we could actually get an airbridge set up here. Like, a, you know, maybe some small transport planes and we could just get rid of this, um, you know, this expensive contract that we've got here with um, with Heimdall Brian. Uh, also, I think we, we realised that one of these was ending this turn, wasn't it? Let's have a look at the contracts. Okay, so this is the uh, Maxia to Heimdall Brian. Yeah, I think we want to keep that one going. I think I'm just going to pay for that for an extra few turns. Um, it is expensive doing it like this. I mean, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Let's let's just get it going for one extra round. Yeah, and then we'll get we'll go for one extra round. Then we'll set a new one up. And hopefully, once we've got the, we we, we might be able to get rid of it eventually. So, transport contract. I'm Dalbrine. Nine. Yep, that's correct. Okay. Are we getting any recon? Yes, we are. All right, this is Solarian State. Wow, they've got a lot of troops, look. What do you think this, the chances of us being able to, you know, make a beach landing and then grinding through these guys? It doesn't look good, does it? And they've got air bases. This is an, in yeah, this is going to be an interesting challenge. I think probably what we want to do is we want to jump onto a lesser, well-defended area and get them to, you know, draw their troops away from us. So maybe we attack into here, for example. They've got a port here, look. Uh, we could attack into one of these ports, take this area, and then just make sure we've got enough aircraft, you know, to, to defend against anything they're going to fire at us, you know, from this direction. But they will also probably make uh, landing, you know. So, the, um, I'm again, I think n the next episode is going to be me figuring out how we can do this. I think this will be good fun, though. Uh, we do also need to get some spies. Some more spies into this zone, I'd say. Uh, this is uh, Teostart. And we don't know what... The, oh, this is Malaport. And this is Coppercron. Now, if we could, for example, if we could grab Coppercron here, that would be a good place to land, right? Because then we are cutting off this from the SHQ. This is, this is, I mean, we could probably, you know, do a couple of pinching maneuvers here, like one here in uh, Pixhaven, and then one at Coppercron. That would be, you know, that's something we could probably do if we were going to attack. We'd need better troops. We'd also need, I mean, look, in agricultural here, so tanks aren't quite so good, but they'll defend okay. We'd need a decent contract, you know, we'd need a decent way of being able to get troops over. Maybe an airbridge. If we could airbridge, get, you know, a lot of, a big airbridge, basically, and then drop down some tanks there. And then, you know, tanks would be really good at fighting through this terrain. So that's that's one thing to do. Um, oh, this talent drive. Heimdall Brine. 
I think we're just going to have to say we can't stop you. And everyone's going to hate me for this. But I, can't, I don't want to lose relationship with them. Uh, Elisaria, let's just put the syndics in. Okay, I'm just going to try and balance the syndics and the democrats out there. Uh, right. Yeah, everything else is ticking over okay. We want to. We do need to get on war footing, but in order to get on war footing, we need to make sure that all this is okay. Now, the um, this this SHQ here is doing pretty good. Doing pretty well, sorry. Um, yeah, let's sell some fuel, just make you a little bit of cash. Sell a bunch of food as well. Let's get a little bit of cash in. Roger that. Uh, what we, uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to be hard for them to take, especially if we get, you know, we, we've got like a big airbase here. We're going to have a, an airbase level four. So we're going to be able to, and we'll put other airbases up here so that we've got like defensive airbases. We'll, we'll have an air, an air OHQ, and we'll have a load of fighters that are basically just short range fighters dedicated to just killing stuff that comes in, you know, to attack here. Uh, we could also have some longer range fighters as well, which we could use for longer range interception work. And then we'll uh, we'll we'll have bombers, you know, to be able to defend out, you know, to be able to help against this kind of stuff. We're going to have helicopters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're out of range of our current helicopters. We'll have to make a helicopter design that could potentially fly a little bit further. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sorry, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I mean, we'd have to kind of figure out how we would. Yeah, we we need a we need a helicopter with a bigger with a bigger. Um, with a bigger range, basically. But yeah, this is probably going to be an air... We're going to have to make a beach landing. I'd say, like, here and here. Something like that. And then we could... we could This bit will be cut off. And then we could take that. And then we could move out that way. Take this area. And then we've got a... You know, we've, we've, we've got some... Sort of, we've got some territory, essentially. And then we could start thinking about how to get onto this side. All the while, defending ourselves from any attacks that come. You know, we'd have to probably put some forces up here to guard here and uh, Maxia yeah we've got plenty of militia but militia aren't going to do the job so we're probably going to need more infantry which means Altona yeah we, we're going to have to increase the amount of people we're getting uh, into our recruits all right so yeah I think this I think I'm settled on this I need to I do need to get a few more scouts into this area So we need to get some. Uh, let's get some scouts into the bit we're going to attack, which is Pixarban here. Yes, sir. Critical success. And let's get a spy team into here as well. Tier start. Yes, sir. Okay. And we'll save the rest of the political points. I think uh, maybe we just get perhaps we just get a, a spy into Malaport here. Yes, sir. Okay, we got uh, we got two. Not bad. On this one here too. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to get some spies in. We're also going to have to do once we're at war, we'll have to do some recon for air because there's still fog of war. I love this new fog of war system, by the way. I think it's brilliant. It's so much better than the old one. Um, yeah. These guys are going to pretty much stay where they are, I'd say. Yeah, these are mountain guard. Probably need to upgrade these troops anyway, just in case we do get attacked. It's possible that we might get attacked here. I don't think. I think Heimdall Brine like us, so I, I would expect that there'd be a little bit less, a bit, a little bit less up for dropping, you know, um, pirates on our, you know, on our uh, on our shores. Yeah, we need, we do definitely need more, a bit more, a bit more recon and some information as to how we're going to go about this. But I like this idea. This should be fun. We've got Dunkalavia here too. Um, once we've got a bit more information on Solarian State, we'll have a look at that next turn. Let's just put a note up here. Check Solarian's enemies and uh, other info. And then we need to start building building up for building up for a war. Okay, so yeah, there we go. All right, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying this. I think we're going to start seeing a war with a major in the next few turns. Maybe, you know, next four or five turns. And then we'll get it going. Take it easy, guys. Take care.